straight out to WSB radio reporter Veronica Waters in Atlanta. What is the very latest? Well, Jane, you hit the nail on the head. Cobb County police have said Leanna Harris, Ross Harris's wife, is not the focus of this investigation, but she's a part of it. So if they're trying to make her a suspect, they are keeping that on the down low. But some very odd statements have come out of Leanna Harris's mouth, as we heard from Detective Phil Stoddard on the stand at the probable cause hearing last week. First of all, when the couple was first reunited after Cooper Harris was killed in that hot car, Leanna Harris asked her husband, as he was bemoaning the fact that he would probably be charged with a felony and lose his job over this, did you say too much? Kind of an odd question. And let's rewind the tape to when she went to pick up Cooper at the daycare and that day. And you know day. what? I, I, I'll tell you what. We actually have that piece of sound that you're referring to. Okay. And I want to play it uh, because it is sort of uh, the, the key thing that is perplexing everyone. How would she be able to say this? Cops raised major suspicion laying out damning evidence against Ross Harris's wife, Leanna. Now, she has not been named a suspect. I want to stress that. She's invited on our show anytime. We've been trying to reach out. But listen closely to the very first thing she said, according to cops, after she shows up to pick up her son at daycare and learns he had never been dropped off. Once she walked into the daycare, she walked back to uh, Cooper's classroom where she ran into um, Michelle, and she asked, you know, uh, why are you doing here? And Leanna's like, well, I'm here to pick up Cooper. And, like, Ross never dropped Cooper off. And she's like, this got really calm. She's like, well, I don't know what to do. They walk back out into the lobby, and in front of several witnesses, all of a sudden she states, oh, Ross must have left him in the car. Straight out to the lion's den. Ross must have left him in the car. How on earth could she immediately uh, jump to that conclusion? And that being, by the way, a correct conclusion. Wendy Murphy, former yeah. prosecutor. Yeah. You know, what's, what's that old poem, uh, Telltale Heart? Are you kidding me? This is like a mother who can't help herself from saying the things she probably knows she shouldn't be saying, but she's trying to make it look like she's the innocent mother looking for her kid, but her brain knows the truth, so out it comes. The only way the wife is going to predict that he's done this is if he had done it before. So if we're saying that he's adult and he's not mentally capable and he's a John Belushi character, et cetera, then he's done it before and she had a hunch. Well, I guess he did it again. Maybe that's why they were so concerned about it, because he's left a child There's in the no past. evidence of that. You can't, you can't just make stuff up. There, there is no evidence of that the whatsoever. That's not, like that's not that's not without evidence. There's there's not. evidence. There may not be any evidence there's of no this, evidence. but... but He's an okay. There may not parent. be any evidence, but there's no, there's also no plausible explanation for her lack of emotion. Yeah. I mean, this is not how you, I, I find this very, very odd.